Hello everyone, this is Darshana Shah from Josh India TV. So it's that time of the year when everyone is talking about election, right? So why shouldn't we? We have with us today Mr. Ali Mirza, who is a Democratic candidate, who is running an election for US Congress of New York. So let's hear it from him. Hello Ali. Uh, Hi, welcome how are you? to I'm good. Uh, welcome to Josh India TV. So tell us, when you go outside and you talk about your campaign, what is the response from the audience? Well, uh, the main response, there are so many responses, but right. number one thing that I hear from everybody mm -hmm. is, uh, who is my current congressman? Uh, right. Who is Gregory Meeks? Mm -hmm. Nobody knows him. They, I meet two type of people, mm -hmm. either those who have never heard of Gregory Meeks True. or those who have heard of him mm -hmm. have a very bad uh, impression of him. Uh, because he has been involved in so many scandals. Uh, but people tell me that they have never seen him, never uh -huh. met him. They have complaints, uh, they have issues right. uh, that he has never addressed. Uh, so uh, that is the main thing that I'm hearing and people are fed up. Uh, especially you have seen in the presidential election, mm -hmm. people are fed up with the system, people are fed up with the establishment. And this guy, Gregory Meek, is the part of the system uh, people are very much against TPP. They want jobs. Right. They don't want our jobs mm -hmm. to be outsourced. Mm -hmm. uh, people are fed up with the education loan burden. People are fed up uh, that the politicians are corrupt. Mm -hmm. So this is, these are the things that I hear. And they are very happy that somebody who is not a career politician, who is a businessman, and who is a go-getter uh, go, go and a doer is wow. running for this post. Wow, that's amazing. So I read that your campaign is ad addressing very important issues like uh, raising minimum wages, uh, fighting corruption, also supporting education, uh, uh, and also you're planning to change the immigration laws. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, how you're planning to resolve these issues and how long will it take uh, to achieve your goals? Well, as you must have heard that uh, just today, Mm -hmm. uh, the Supreme Court, right. uh, you know, they, they delivered a blow to Barack Obama, President mm -hmm. Barack Obama, uh, on immigration policy. So it has become a very hot issue. Right. Now, for the last so many years, the reforms have not been done. Mm -hmm. uh, but being an immigrant myself, the first mm -hmm. generation of immigrant, I have been in America for 32 years now. Right. Uh, but still, I'm from the first generation of immigrant, and I realize and I know the problems being faced by the immigrant communities. Uh, Gregory Meeks has mm -hmm. no clue. Uh, so of course, sure. I will take interest uh, in solving this as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. I, I will also take a very strong stand against hate and discrimination uh, because these days this uh, hate and discrimination against uh, Hispanics, against Sikhs, against uh, people of color, immigrant communities, uh, uh, Hindus, uh, Mus Muslims, uh, it, is, it, it is too much. Right. And we have to take a stand. Mm -hmm. Of yeah. course, right. Yeah. And how long do you think this will take for you to resolve all these issues? Well, we have to work uh, on issues. Some issue will, uh, some issues will take time. But mm -hmm. some issues, uh, uh, if if I work hard, mm -hmm. I should be able to get it done. And I uh, intend to right. uh, get it done uh, within first hundred days. Mm -hmm. I want to reform the criminal justice system. I want to make sure that our uh, minimum uh, wage is raised to $15 because look, $15, if you work 40 hours a week mm -hmm. and you are paid $15 an hour, that is exactly. 600, right. 600 before taxes. Mm -hmm. That is nothing. And mm -hmm. that will also be implemented in 2020, not now. True. So I want to make sure mm -hmm. uh, that our inflation factor is added to it. So that by 2020, when the $15 uh, minimum wage comes into effect, uh, it will also be increased by the inflation. Uh, okay. Also, uh, I talked about so many different things, but let me talk about uh, uh, the issue that you might be interested in uh, mm -hmm. as a woman. Mm -hmm. uh, it should be important to you that when you are going to work, mm -hmm. uh, the same job and same amount of work uh, that a guy is doing, you should be paid Equality. the same amount. So pay equity is one of the very important thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, Gregory Meeks has not been able to deliver on uh, pay equity. I'll make sure that our women uh, are paid the same amount of uh, money for the same amount of work and time that they uh, spend on their job. That's great. Yeah. yeah. So that is one thing. Yeah. So tell us like why we should vote for you and not Gregory Meeks. We have heard uh, already a lot, but tell us in few lines if you have to summarize why Ali Mirza and not Gregory Meeks. Well, Ali, uh, why you should fire uh, Gregory Meeks and vote for Ali Mirza? Because Ali Mirza is not corrupt. Ali Mirza is not lazy. Ali Mirza 
uh, is not in the Congress for 18 years doing nothing and just uh, uh, getting involved in corruption after corruption and scandal after scandal. Ali Mirza uh, will do what he is promising to you which is that I will reform the criminal justice system within 100 days. I'll make sure that our young people who are crushing right now under the heavy burden of college tuition uh, loans, uh, those loans are forgiven uh, because uh, we have to do that. We have to bail out our students just like we bailed out Wall Street. And in future, the college education loans uh, should be interest free and city and state colleges uh, should also be providing free tuition like they used to do 60, 70 years uh, ago. Ali Mirza will make sure that we pass a comprehensive immigration reform as soon as possible. Ali Mirza, Mirza will make sure, uh, with Ali Mirza you don't have to worry that it will take 18 years for him to realize that there is aeroplanes are making noises, uh, noise, mm -hmm. too much noise uh, for our comfort and quality of life. Ali Mirza is aware of it and Ali Mirza will make sure that he sits down with the Port Authority and resolve this issue as soon as possible. So Ali Mirza is a doer, uh, yes, not a I'm talker. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so that is very important. And the thing that is important is, that, like I said, 60% uh, of the population here is from the immigrant communities. Let them be Jamaican, Haitian, yeah. Guyanese, mm -hmm. Caribbean Indians, Sikhs, Hindu, Muslims, uh, South Asians, Indian, Pakistani, Bangladeshis. And being part of uh, an immigrant uh, com uh, yeah. community myself, mm -hmm. I understand the values, issues, uh, and I understand what you are going through. So I have a sense of connection. I will not be an absentee and out of touch congressman uh, like Gregory Meeks has been for 18 years. I'm sure. Yeah. So the primary elections are arriving soon. Can you tell us a little bit about like how to vote, where to go? Because I'm sure a lot of people, they don't know yes. uh, about the primary elections. They think that elections are in November. So if you could just like pr provide sure. some insight to that, that would be great. Sure. See, in November, you are already being told, uh, you are already told uh, that, okay, this is a Republican candidate, this is a Democratic candidate, and you have to vote for them. Uh, and then in Queens, from where I'm uh, running from, uh, Jamaica, Jamaica Hills, uh, Jamaica State, Kew Gardens, South Ozone Park, uh, South Flushing, Fresh Meadows, Far Rockaway, Hollis, Queens, uh, Queens Village, Rosedale, Almont, Valley Stream, uh, South Floral Park. These areas, these are very heavily democratic areas. So 99.99% uh, always a Democrat wins from this area. Mm -hmm. So the real election is not in November real election is now on tuesday june 28 so please come out and vote and all i need is about 9000 votes to win uh, because in the primary elections mm -hmm. not many people come out to vote exactly. there are 260000 democrats in the district uh, and only 32000 republicans so of course whoever will have a Demo whoever will have the democratic nomination will win in november so uh, this is the real deal so my opponent in the previous primaries always get about 8,000 to 8,500 votes. That's all he gets. So we have to get 9,000 votes. And if all of you come out to make the changes that I have just explained what I will do for the Congress, then uh, we will win. It is uh, very important. Primary elections really decides who your congressman, Congress person will be in the future. Because in November, you have the choice is already made. Right. One Republican candidate, one Democratic candidate, pick one. And mm -hmm. if it is a Democratic district, the Democrat will win. If it is a Republican district and more Republicans live there, then the Republican will win. But who that Democratic person will be, that will be decided on Tuesday, June 28. So please, this is the real election. Come out and vote. Uh, my name is Ali Mirza. Go to my website, mirzaforcongress.com to learn more about what I stand for. Uh, I have been to Gurdwaras, mm -hmm. I have been to temples, I have been to churches, I have been to synagogues, I have been to the Islamic centers. I have talked to uh, both uh, uh, Gurdwaras in uh, uh, Richmond Hill uh, and in Queens Village. I have gone to uh, temples and uh, mandirs in Richmond Hill and Queens Village and other areas. I have gone to Islamic centers, I have gone to churches all over from Almond to Far Rockaway. Uh, I have gone to synagogues from Valley Stream and Almont uh, to Inward. Uh, so I have been in touch with the community and I will remain in touch with the community after my election. So please take a stand, end this uh, era of corruption of Gregory Meeks and vote for me on Tuesday, June 28, uh, so that we can all have a bright future, not for our 
self only, but for our children and for our future generation as well. Thank and you so much. And that is my message. Thank you so much. Thank you. So guys, please go on June 28th and vote for Ali Mirza for our better future, as he said, and better community. So thank you so much thank for coming much. to our show. Thank you. My pleasure. Uh, we are very thank glad you. to have you with us here today. Thank you. Um, and all the best. Thank Wish you. you all the best. I hope you win. Thank you.